Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you one of my big money bolos that is totally unexpected. And then I'm gonna let my friends share their bolos and they're gonna pop on and do a 60 second video sharing a bolo. These are some of my favorite videos because you get to see other people's big money bolos, you get to see other personalities and you get to go follow them and subscribe to them. So they will all be linked down below. But we're going to get started here with my bolo. And then we're going to check out the others. Get ready to have your socks knocked off. All right. We are going to talk about this is my bolo. And I'm going to start with mine. And it is pretty cool, I must say. This is just a cheap, when I say cheap, it's like flimsy plastic. But... Chuck E. Cheese, right there. Now you open it up and you pull out this and you're like, how are you showing us this if you sold it? Well, I actually got two. And if I remember correctly, I got them at a garage sale and they were like either so many for a dollar or they were a quarter each. It wasn't much. So inside is a coloring sheet. It looks like this and it says millennium and you know I don't think I put the word Y2K in my title that probably would have been a good idea if I didn't I'll have to look and see and then it also has this on the inside guess what I sold this for and I still have this one left it's available in my eBay store if anybody collects Chuck E. Cheese because what I have learned is there are Chuck E. Cheese collectors out there willing to pay big money for these little toys that were probably prizes from playing the games at Chuck E. Cheese. But this one is special because it is the Millennium Time Capsule. I sold this for $55.25. The buyer was all in for almost $65. This is my bolo. Hi guys, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel here. So Courtney has asked me to feature um, so, uh, an item that I sell and I'm kind of known for selling weird stuff, right? So this is what I sold. I'm gonna put it right there. Sorry for moving around so much. Um, gonna put it right there and it is for the container only. Now watch this. Okay, Bolo Buddies, here are some of the other weird and unexpected things that Noelle has sold. Definitely check her out on Instagram, but she also has an incredible YouTube channel where she teaches about Bolo items. So sub her up and follow her on both social media platforms. So you will have seen how much I sold it for. $34.19 shipped. Buy the weird stuff, sell the weird stuff because the weird stuff sells. Come come check out my Instagram. I post a lot of my wet solds on my Instagram. Thanks so much, Courtney. Um, buy the weird stuff, right? Buy the weird stuff. Bye. Hi, my name is Rebel, and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And I wanted to share a bolo with you guys. This doll I picked up at a recent estate sale. She was $10. She is an ideal Tiffany Taylor doll. I knew the doll itself was probably only worth about 20, but the treasure here was also included with her. She came with several outfits. And when I looked up comps for outfits, they seemed to be about 20 bucks each. Some of these did have some issues. I wasn't going to clean them. I'm leaving all of that to the buyer. Um, but I listed it yesterday, and within two hours, I had two offers. I went ahead and waited the day out to see if anybody would do an outright buy it now, but they didn't. So this morning, I accepted an offer of $120 for her. Hey guys, my name is Tanya and I'm just a girl that makes a living thrifting and this is my bolo. I was packing my items this morning. This sold so fast. I went on a huge thrift trip with some other resellers here in town and 
I came across a backpack. I sold this backpack so fast. I listed it before I went to bed and I sold it when I woke up in the morning. I sold this backpack for $238 plus shipping. This is the backpack. It's plain. This one right here is a Go Ruck GR1. This is what you're going to look for. This backpack is extremely high quality. You can tell when you touch it. Don't pass up the backpacks at the thrift store, y'all. You just never know. I think I only paid like six bucks for this. I have the entire video on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out and see everything I got that day. There was a ton of bolos and I hope to see you there. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, also known as Childhood Finds on YouTube, eBay, pretty much everything. Today the bolo I'm bringing you is a book. So this is going to be Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in the Outlander series. You might recognize that name because it is also a TV show. So this I paid about $4 for and it sold in about a month and I just took a best offer of 145. It is a first edition, first printing. That is important. That's what brought the money. So really you should look for the early books in hit TV series because if you can also find the first first of Outlander, that's even bigger money. Or if you can find the first of Game of Thrones or the Wheel of Time series, things like that, always keep your eye out. Thanks everyone and thanks Courtney for doing this. Hello everybody, my name is Jerry and I'm the Jersey Shore Thrifter and this is my bolo. First, I want to say thank you to Courtney for inviting me to participate in this. I'm happy to do that. I've been known for some of the posts that I've put on the Facebook page for the things that I find that other people discard in the trash, curbside shopping. And this bolo is a curbside pickup. This little guy right here, creepy as he is, is a non-working, all his animatronics are gone, just the wires there. Spirit of Halloween, ghoulish little zombie baby that I found. And he sold within two hours of listing for $40 plus shipping. If he was working, he would have been worth $150 and quick sell through. But like I said, all his animatronics were missing and yet he still sold. Anyway, creepy sells and curbside pickups, you get the best ROI because you pay zero. Thanks for watching and thank you, Courtney. All right, so I asked Jerry to include some footage of him finding this creepy little thing. Oh my goodness, let me know in the comments, would you have picked this up or left it in the trash can? Um, I gotta say that I may have left it in the trash can. Uh, that thing, is super super creepy so let me know down below in the comments and everybody go check out the comments to see what everybody else said but he is definitely going to dig down into this trash can pull this guy out list it on ebay and sell it for big money do you love it curb side picking trash picking the best way to source for free and here is the screenshot of when he got it out Are of the trash me? can. Eek! I am Sandra, also known as Piece of Scrap on eBay and YouTube. I'm here with my bolo, and it is a Boy Scouts of America. This is a washable 100% wool jacket, and in typical Goodwill fashion, they write the price right on the inner material tag. It cost me $10. I just left that price on the tag and noted it in the description. Came home and listed it right away. I did price it high at over $200 with $13 shipping. Within 24 hours, I received an offer of $125. The buyer did pay priority shipping of 13, making them all in at $138. Again, I'm Zandra, piece of scrap on YouTube. Subscribe for more What Sold on eBay. Hi, my name's Christy, and this is my bolo. Cross stitch kit, the price of $2 written right there gold collection. Okay, that's good. I don't know if it's because of the music printed background, the fact that it has, you know, this French horn on it, 
This one, highest price sold, was $140. There's one other one listed right now besides mine. So I listed it at 140. I thought about going higher, but you know, I spent $2 on this thing. I listed at 140, fully knowing that it was gonna go 25% off. This morning, I asked my husband to grab me my phone because I forgot it, and he said, ooh, you sold something for $105, and I knew instantly what it was. So I was so excited, I looked it up. It's going to Tallinn, Estonia, a place I've actually been and is really cool. So I'm shipping this today internationally. I paid two and I sold it for $105. Hi everybody, my name is Amber from Picker Money Flipper from eBay and YouTube. And we have found some really cool items I wanted to tell you about. The first one, my husband's gonna put in the screen up here. It is a Max Pedition Hard Gear Tactical Crossbody Bag. It's pink. I paid 25 cents for it and it sold for $65.05 and $10.95 to ship. So I can't complain about that. The next thing I found is this Sony headphones, new old stock, paid $1 and they sold for $57.91 and $9.95 to ship. So I paid $1.25 and made over $100. I can't complain about that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, it's Wendy from Nina's Jewels, and this is my bolo. Vintage children's VHS tapes, like this Barney lot. This lot actually hasn't sold, but we recently sold a lot similar to this one for $49.99. I'll flash some other images of recent children's VHS lots that we've sold. We will pick them up at garage sales, thrift stores, the Goodwill bins, anywhere we can find them, hold on to them until we get a large lot and then list them. And anything from the 90s is a surefire thing to pick up. Veggie Tales is a great seller. Baby Einstein is a great seller. Barney is a really good seller. So there's an idea for you that you may not have known was something that would sell for a high price. So if you can get VHS at a cheap price, it is definitely worth considering to sell in a large lot. All right, guys, check us out on YouTube and eBay at Nina's Jewels and on Instagram at Nina's Jewels LLC. Thanks so much. Check you guys on the flip side. Danielle, and this is my Bolu. So I sold these, and they are sprinkles from the 1950s. And I listed them for $105 in my eBay store. I had an offer come in of $70. Counter offered them $80, and they accepted. These are marked Bark and Fosters. They were $0.29 cents from Walgreens. And I'm guessing 50s, 60s on those. That's what I had them advertised as. The glass bottle was really thick. I was really super surprised to find these at a yard sale. And I paid $2 for the grouping of them. So that was quite a good little profit. So thinking about cake decorations of the past, um, I, I really never thought that something like that might sell. But because of the bottles being in such good condition and the candy itself, being full and in good condition. I thought I'd give it a whirl and it turns out it's a good deal. I'm Danielle. Hi everybody, my name is Sandra. So nice to meet you. The name of my YouTube channel is The Funky Pickle Thrifter. I have been selling on eBay since 1998 and a big focus of what I sell and also a big focus of my YouTube channel is jewelry, antique jewelry and vintage jewelry. If you're interested in learning how to sell that, you should swing by. I might be able to help you out. I'm going to put a few of my most recent sales on the screen. Some very interesting things, especially though this barrette. It sold for this much money because it was signed by Miriam Haskell, who is a very, very desirable designer to look out for. But my bolo today is actually something called gravel art. I've also heard it referred to as pebble art. So I believe it hit its heyday in the 1960s. Basically, it's a kit. And instead of filling in the spaces with paint, you would use what was in the kit, gravel, rocks, marble, and so on. It is like a mosaic that you would just do yourself at home. Anyway, they can be worth some bucks. As you can see, I paid $5 for these at the yard sale, sold them for $125. Happy hunting to everybody out there. I hope to catch you soon. Thank you so much, Courtney. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Hi, Courtney. This is Cher, Grand and Grandma. And I want to thank you, first of all, for all the hard work that you do, because we do know that it's very hard work. We know that it's time-consuming. Uh, we all appreciate everything that you do and all the time that you put into this for us. 
and well for everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a dozen times and more. But this is a bolo I want to tell you about. It's a 1942 Masonic Bible that we bought from a hoarder house. We did get it for just pennies and sold it on Poshmark for $85 plus shipping. Again, thank you. Bye-bye. I'm Tina, the Thriftaholic. I have an eBay store and a YouTube channel. And I'm sharing my bolo for April. Um, this was inspired by Courtney's love of small toys. I picked up this Sam the Clam Fisher Price toy from 1977. He still have his eyes intact. These are only decals, so that to have him intact is kind of rare, I guess, which I only found out once I looked him up. He's a pool or tub toy. Um, I guess you use him in water and his little insides come out and there's a little squirt thing here. I assume he fills up with water and you squirt your mom in the face or something. <laughs> so for 25 cents, I picked it up at a church sale and I flipped it on eBay for $28. Thanks for the tip, Courtney. Hi, Bolo Buddies. My name is Carol. I sell on eBay and I have a YouTube channel called Butterfly Hustle. Anyways, this is my Bolo. I, this is called The House of Lucinda. Pin. I do have a video on my channel of where I got it. I got it at Shop Goodwill and this sold for $30 and I paid less than a dollar for it, if not 50 cents. These vintage pins are great to find, but this one is just so kitschy and cute with the dog. My cat's playing with the light switch. Anyways, if you get a chance, go to my channel and watch that video. Bye. Thanks, Courtney. Hey, everybody. I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today Courtney asked me to come by and um, show off a little bowl for you, so I decided on this little vintage horse. Let me get over there for you. Um, I just sold this horse. It has a plastic head with a saddle. It says TV Rider on it. I've had this guy for about six years. It's been sitting meh, just around my house. Um, it was super dirty and it has a crack in the saddle if you can see it. Um, so I just haven't listed it. So I decided last year to list it finally and just put it in the description. It needs a little cleaning. Saddle has a crack. So yeah, being this old I don't like to clean them very well. So uh, but anyways, uh, a buyer messaged me that her friend had this as a child, so she picked it up. She paid $254.99, so nice little vintage uh, plush sale there. <laughs> anyways, thank you. Uh, don't fiddle fraud around. Get all your listings up. Take care, everybody. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Kat Philanthropy and I'm a full-time reseller in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I sell on eBay, Macari, and Poshmark. And I will be coming to Whatnot soon. I'm approved, but I just got to get it going. I go by Cat Filling Thrifty on all platforms. Before we talk about my bolo, you've got to see my cute little t-shirt. Where do you think I got this from? Oh yeah, you know, Bolo Buddies. Go to her store. She's got lots of these cute shirts and sweatshirts. I'm going to wear mine when I go to the yard sales and when I go to the bin. So you're going to see this some more. Okay, my bolo is this Marbella brooch and earring set that I got for $5 at a yard sale. Some other jewelry as well for $5 a piece. It is gold tone, gold textured with rhinestones surrounding it. And the brooch almost looks like material pulled through a buckle. It is just so awesome. I could not wait to get it home to get it up for sale. Put it on auction, sold it for $73 plus shipping. I put shipping on all my items. This is a great find. I hope you find one like it out there somewhere. I hope everybody has a prosperous May. And Courtney, as always, thank you so much for all you do for us. Love watching all the videos with all my fellow resellers. Hey, Bolo Buddies. This is Ali from Toledo Antique. And today I'm going to tell you what is our Bolo. Our Bolo is this 1930 wrought iron with marble top that we got in an auction. 
I personally did not want to buy that, but David snapped that in the last minute for only $10. Yes, that's right, $10. And we sold for $300 with a local pickup. So open your eyes for this quick flip that it's furniture that you don't need even to ship. They come and pick up directly in your location. Great find and keep an eye for those bolo. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Courtney. Hi, other bolo buddies. I'm Cher, Grin and Grandma. This is my bolo. It's a king size vintage white chenille bedspread with fringe all around it, uh, red roses, and some green leaves as decoration. It was absolutely gorgeous. We bought it years ago from uh, an estate buyout, so we have pennies in it, and I listed it on eBay. Or it sat for over a year. Uh, listing price on it, by the way, was $250. I finally cross-listed it to Poshmark and to Mercari. Uh, same thing, it sat. And I received several offers. They were all low ball. And I sent several offers, apparently, that the customers thought were high ball. And uh, anyway, finally received an offer for $150 plus shipping. I grabbed it before she changed her mind. That's my bolo. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Hi guys, Farm Girl Scavenger here, and this is my bolo. Road and Track Magazine calendars. I went to the last hour of an estate sale. There were 21 of them sitting on a table. It was $20 fill a bag. I said, can I have all of these calendars for $20? They were like, yes. So I have 91 cents basically into each calendar. I listed them the next day, all of them. I sold one overnight with a message from the buyer asking if I had these dates. I don't know why they weren't showing up. I ended up selling him two more, so I sold three within 24 hours for $90 and, and four cents shipped each. And then this morning I woke up to a message from him and he asked if I would take an offer of $200 for eight more of them. Okay. He said, I noticed that they hadn't mo been moving. Well, they have been listed less than a month. So, but the thing is, is that ephemera does not move. You have to wait for the right person. Um, so I wrote him up a listing just for him. I told him what the shipping would be for all of them, got them packed up, made him a listing. He agreed to the price for shipping and handling of $50. Um, I made him a listing, 250 free shipping because I was shipping them through pirate ship and I didn't want any hinky stuff going on. And I sent him the listing and an hour later, cha-ching, he paid for it. So there it is right there. There's your bolo. Thank you so much. And Courtney, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, bolo buddies. What did you think about those bolos? Amazing, right? Okay. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which one surprised you the most. And there's going to be some other videos popping up here and here, a video down below and a subscribe button. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I have a whole playlist of these videos. So if you have not seen them, definitely go check them out. There are different people featured in every video. So um, you'll see a lot of repeat people, but they are bolo finders. So go sub them up and thanks for watching.